All right, let's go down here first. Whoa, sh ah! ah, I knew it. <laughs> no, 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 not good. Not good, not good. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm on to you now. Oh, sh Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Imperial Galactic Survival on Reforged Eden. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go ahead and start the storyline mission in earnest. Uh, so we've been kind of messing around doing, you know, one or two side missions and went back to the Dark Planet in the last episode. And I got a little bit of a sweet revenge on the Xerax prison vessel and surrounding troops. And uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the Dark System and get started with the quest line, which means we have to go to the Gamma system, or no, sorry, to the Delta system. Now, I haven't actually seen the comments from today's video. Today's uh, January 26th. So if some of you, uh, and I did ask you in those on that video to leave me a comment if you wanted me to stay around in the dark system and do some more things. But um, I, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. But if, if some of you do comment in that video and, and ask me to do something specific in the dark system, um, we can come back before we leave, you know, this this region of the galaxy and uh, do that. Well, maybe we will. It depends upon what you ask me to do. <laughs> OK, so no promises, but uh, we'll see how things go. <clears throat> Excuse me. OK, let's hop in the pilot seat here and we're going to go uh, to the galaxy map. We're going to lock in the Delta system. And let's also go into our PDA and we just want to make sure that this is, yeah, this is the active mission. Okay, so we have to find Sienna in the Delta system. Uh, Sienna is kind of a, is kind of a, I, I, I'm a little excited to go there because I, you know, I have, I've got uh, a history with that place. Um, what happened with that is, what the hell am I doing? Get the lights on. Okay. What happened with that was that um, several years ago now, I don't know, probably three, four years ago, Myself and uh, a few other uh, friends of mine, we started a, we kind of did a, a little bit of a challenge, I guess, um, where we all started on the hardest settings on the planet Sienna, um, just to see, you know, if we if we could actually do it. Um, that was a very incredibly hard start, maybe even the hardest start at the time. Uh, in the game. This is just what was just in vanilla Imperion 2, by the way. Um, and anyway, so yeah, we started and it was, it was a, it was a big struggle, but we eventually, you know, got a foothold on the planet. So, um, it just kind of brings back fond memories of, of dying over and over, <laughs> uh, when we did that. So anyway, I'm, I'm kind of excited to go back to Sienna because I haven't been back there since then. All right, let's go ahead and open up our map here and we're going to look for sienna sienna there it is right there sienna is an ice planet a lock target there and we'll get our ship heading in the right direction and we'll head over to to the frozen planet of sienna wow we're in the sun's corona here one thing i've never tried to do in uh imperion since they've updated the galaxy is is head right into the sun. Is that even possible? Or do you just kind of hit like an invisible barrier? I don't know. I have to try that sometime just for the hell of it. Unless some of you guys have done that. If you have, let me know what happens. What should happen is you should burn up. Maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> there she is. Good old Sienna. Alright, so there's supposed to be... um. A vessel in orbit that we have to investigate and there's also supposed to be um, a place down on the planet itself uh, when I did these missions about a year and a half or so ago I did it I, I actually did the vessel first before I did the planet but but I'm gonna do the planet this time because I think that's the order that you're supposed to actually uh, do it in all right let's turn our inertials off here so we can just kind of coast on into the planet I'll see you guys down there Okay, we're entering the atmosphere here. Let's do a squirt. Uh, we discovered a Promethium deposit, very small, okay. Um, looks like we have some stuff over this way.
So let's head in uh, this direction here, east, and kind of see what uh, what there is to see. We've got a couple of legacy spots in what probably is a Xerax uh, tower or something of some sort. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been on this planet. And of course, you know, that was back before they... Approaching Xerox drone base shields and heavy weapons detected. Ooh, that's kind of cool that it gives us that warning. Alright, um... Dig site terminus. I wonder if that's where we're supposed to go. I don't know. Let's see, um, you know, we have our shields on, so let's just see how close we can get to the drone base before it starts firing on us. Oh, it's, um... If we get within one click, is it... able to fire? Okay, let's go down a bit. One of the things that uh, they did in Reforge is the turrets... Guns are shooting something. The turrets on uh, POIs can shoot straight up in the air, so you can no longer cheese them from the top like you can in vanilla. Something they've needed to fix for a long time. Okay, so we're about 600-ish meters away from the drone base now. Five hundred ish meters. Hmm. They're still not firing on us. Interesting. Uh, how are we doing on on cannon ammo, by the way? I think that's these auto cannon rounds. Yeah. Okay. So we got we got a few still. I'm surprised that thing isn't firing on us. We're pretty close to it. Let's get a little closer. I just want to get a feel for what the range is on it on the big guns. There we go. Okay, so somewhere around 400 meters. Ooh, wow, they took the shield down quick. We're already at 80%. Okay, so 500-ish 500, 500 and, and uh, you know, uh, under is, is the danger zone for this, at least for this drone base. But one thing about this drone base, though, is it's right up next to the mountains, which if we if we wanted to attack it, I'm not saying we will, but if we wanted to, you know, we could use that cover to our advantage. Anyway, all right, let's keep looking for our objective. So, um, let's go back in here for a minute. So, we need to find a lost colony. A radar signal. Oh, there, we found it. Okay, lost colony. Where is it? There it is. I wonder what dig site terminus is. We should maybe check that out if we have time. Ice cave. That could be interesting. We got all these little round pools of water. I wonder if this POI is going to be exactly the same as the other one we did. If so, there's going to be some booby traps in it. It looks like it's probably the same structure as before. Whoops. All right, so yeah, this is probably as good of a place as any to land since we're uh, on relatively flat terrain here. Whoops. Let's kill the thrusters. We're not totally level, but that's okay. All right, Commander Courtney, you have the bridge. We'll be back later. Don't leave without us. I'm going to grab something to eat while we're here. Now you're doing lap dances? That is not allowed on on duty. You can do that off duty, but not on duty. Come on, Marie. Sometimes I wonder about this crew I hired. Okay. Let's take some cherry pie and a cheeseburger. 
That sounds good. All right, so we got some extra rations. You know, I wouldn't mind having a few more um, bandages. Let's take and put this into the uh, hand weapon kits. So if we wanted to make some bandages, what do we need for that? Enhanced bandages. Oh, that uses Zeno material. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I don't usually mess with Zeno material, but it's good to know that we can. Okay, so we need plant protein and plant fibers. Let's go to here. And we want this to be the medical fridge. We want this to be the food input fridge. So plant protein can be made from veggie edibles because it doesn't look like we have any straight up protein. So let's put um, let's put some of those in there and then we need plant fiber. So let's look in the main input for that. Right here. We should probably make up a little bit more plant fiber in here. So let's just queue up. I don't know, 50 of those, 60, whatever. Okay. Now we should be able to make some bandages. So just make as many as you can. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Looks like our garden's ready to harvest. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to I'm going to harvest the garden and wait for those bandages to finish and then when that's done and we're ready to head out, I'll bring you guys back at that point. All right, guys, we are ready to go. Uh, as you can see here, I've changed out my boosters. We don't need an EVA booster uh, with us, plus that takes a lot of armor away anyways. Um, I think we'll probably be okay in our suit uh, because it should protect us down to... Um, oh, tw only 23. Oh, that could be a, a problem because it is minus two out right now. I thought the heavy armor protected you down to a few degrees below zero, but apparently it doesn't. But we do have 15 rads. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then probably what we ought to do is take the radiation boost off. That'll protect us to 8 rads. That's usually what you'll get when you're around like the alien blocks. And let's put the temp boost back on. And now we're protected to uh, 22 below. All right. Yeah. So I think that's what we need. I, I like to, whenever I can, wear a mobility booster when I'm in heavy armor because then we can move a little bit better. And then I have two. Uh, armor boosters on so we should be good to go there all right let's go ahead and check this place out what the hell why isn't the door opening there it goes so yeah this this place looks like the same what's that building over there uh the same building that we had before Let's go check this out first. I don't remember these little buildings here. I don't know if these are part of the, the main base or not, or if they're just kind of random POIs. Hmm. Okay. Looks like they're maybe just like outbuildings or something, maybe? Not entirely sure. Ooh, there's some uh, Scorpantises over there. The ice variety. We should go warm those boys up. Hey, fellas. Come say hello. Wasted. These guys are like level one and two. <laughs> a lot less uh, dangerous than the ones on uh, on the dark planet. Uh, but we do have dermal parasite. Yay us. So we're going to have to deal with that. Maybe what we'll do is... Let's go back to our vessel here and just use the medical station for that. All right, so let's see here. I'm trying to remember what we need to do. 
We're looking for logs. Got to find some logs. This is engineering. Okay, we got a couple jennies there. Let's uh, attach to... We'll just do like the main input. That should probably go in fuel. So we could try and kill the power on this place, but that might screw us up. Um, so I don't think I will. I think we're gonna we're gonna leave the power intact for now. I don't remember everything about this place, but I do remember there being booby traps. Let's go ahead and go into here. Oh, can't access. Okay. We can go this way though. You know what? We don't actually need that. There's no point in taking it. Unless we can put it in a deconstructor. Yeah, I guess we could do that, huh? A little ammunition. Some biofuel. Yeah, you know what? Let's put this stuff in the in the decon. Deconstructor. There we go. I need to move that stuff into the main, but we'll do that later. A suit of light armor. Okay. Okay, so that's it for in here. This is like cafeteria area or something. Did we look in here? Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Yep, nope, don't want that. Okay, so this door works. I want to say there was maybe a, a trap in here, but I don't remember for sure. Let's stay along the outside. <laughs> yeah, see? I knew it. I knew there was a trap in here. Entry is forbidden. Okay, before we go down there, um, can't open that, and we can't go up that way. Okay. It looks like there's another chamber up there. Okay, well, let's go this way then. This is the way the game wants us to go. Keep our flamethrower ready. That sounds like an overseer. So we should be good to go for the moment. Let's get reattached to our our main input here. There's some more bandages. Okay, we got showers and toilets there. All right, I remember getting stumped in this place. But what you have to do is you have to blow out this uh, vent here. Let's get back up here. I wish we had an animation that showed us reloading the shotgun.
Another mechanical drill. I'll just put that there. All right, here we go. Commander Strickland's log. I have confined the rest of the crew to their quarters, both for their own safety and mine. They have begun acting irrational and violent ever since the incident in the lab. One of our researchers fell ill and was transported via shuttle to the colony ship. We lost communication with the ship two days later. That was five days ago. Access code required, 1947. Access code accepted. Command, initiate program lockdown, A2. Lockdown program, A2 initiated. Send message to UCHN New Horizons. Unable to establish communications link with ship. Please try again later. That doesn't sound good. So we had some dude infected. Well, I guess they didn't know at the time what it was, but uh, they sent an infected guy to the ship and then lost communication with the ship. So that does not bode well. Yeah. Okay, I remember this place. Alright, let's go down here first. Whoa, shit! That scared me. That scared me. I have a little squirt of flamethrower there, Spideys. I love this weapon. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have to go in each one of those rooms in order, I think, to lock unlock this room. Because if we try and open this now, can we do it? Can't access hangar door. Yeah, okay. Let's just go down to the end of the hall first. Okay, so that's all the further we can go. All right, we'll start back here, and we'll start going into each one of the individual rooms. So we came out of that room. Let's go into Security Chief Newern's room first. Oh, that was not a good time for me to be reloading. Holy shit, this takes forever to reload. Oh, those guys don't die quite as fast, do they? Hmm, alright, we're going to have to keep that in mind. Good god, this thing takes forever to reload. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go ahead and squirt one of those. Just keep our health topped off. We're lucky we didn't get infected from that dude. Okay, so maybe flamethrower is not the best weapon to use for those guys. I'm thinking. Multi-tool, shotgun, just basic stuff. But this is a, this is considered a starter planet, so I'm not surprised we're not finding really good stuff. Okay, security le alert level high. Log 47-2. Fight broke out today. I broke it up. Log 47.3. Fight broke out today over space fries. I broke it up. The fries were delicious. Log 47.4. All hell's broken loose. This is one fight I don't think I can break up. Okay, so this was the security chief. Engineer Schultz. Hello? There's probably going to be a spawner in here. Okay. I think we're okay for this room. Let's close the door. <laughs> what? I already entered the damn lock code. Okay. Energy pills, coffee. Take that. Loot first, read later. No, we don't want that. Okay, log 222. Ever since they brought back those blasted things and stuck them in the basement, the base has been experiencing power surges like crazy. Spent 14 hours yesterday trying to fix it. I've come up with only one solution. Get rid of our alien cargo. Log 223. 223. I don't know what part of the power grid can't handle it. These researchers don't understand. Do they think power can just teleport 
through the air like magic? I mean, it can, but it requires an intricate system of quantum tunnelers and capacitors. This is the 14th power conduit to fail this week alone. Sooner or later, those containment fields are going to fail, and then we'll all be in trouble. Whose idea was this? All right. So we have alien cargo, and they are in a containment, containment field, but power is failing. And some blasted things were brought back from somewhere. Okay, let's go to the next room. Lieutenant, um, Aviera, I guess? Yeah, you really gotta lay on this to kill those guys. We might have to try something else. It works great on the, you know, on the Scorpantuses, but not so much on the, these guys. All right. Elrond's Field Guide to Quantum Teleportation, 2nd Edition, Chapter 97, Quantum Computing in the Age of FTL. Hm. All right, here we go. Message to UCH High Command. Dear Mom and Pa, I'm loving it here. It's a bit boring at times, but we don't have to worry about Xerox attacks or Polaris politics. I've been reading some science books Dr. Chan let me borrow to pass the time. I hope once I'm done with this assignment, I could train to become a science officer, and after I get over this cold... Oh, and after I get over this cold. With love, Avi. Avi, I don't think you're going to get over the cold. Sad to say. Sad to say. All right, let's try a different tactic on the next nasty. Uh, we'll, we'll try some shotgun action. Lisa M. See, that works a little bit better than the flamethrower. Loot first, read later. Multi-tool, another detox kit. Did these help with uh, parasite stuff? No, it's more food poisoning and that sort of thing. Okay, log 13. See new worlds, they said. Discover ancient secrets, they said. Now I'm stuck on some backwater ice dwarf locked in my quarters for our safety. When UCH said we'd be colonizing new planets, I expected some nice tropical paradise, not a frozen wasteland. Project Eden? More like Project Freezing. Okay. Log 14. Feel really sick. Like, really bad. I've called Dr. Chan, but he hasn't answered. Been locked in my quarters for eight hours now. Wait. I just heard a scream outside my door. It sounded like a Abby. What's going on? I told them we should have left those alien ruins alone. Okay. So, yep. Lisa and Abby have succumbed. Two more rooms. Dr. Chan and a room with no name. Oh, Dr. Weston. Yeah, okay. We know about Dr. Weston. So those guys must have, like, flame resistance or something. Oh, shit! Did we get him? How did that not kill you? Oh, he's stuck. He can't get through. <laughs> that was fortuitous. All right, before we go back there, let's go into Dr. Weston's room. Get this reloaded. Come on, man. What in the hell? <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's artificial reloading time that they added to this. That shouldn't take that long. Don't like that. I hate artificially imposed game mechanics just to make something take longer or, or whatever. Anyway, all right. We don't care about the motorcycle. Can't access the trauma station of another faction and uh, some additional growth stuff. Also known as mold. Okay, here we go. Log 472. 
There was a small power surge in the lab today. My skin came into contact with a sample. The force fields were quickly reestablished, and I feel no lasting effects. I actually feel quite good. Log 473. Test results not good. Peter Chan and I agreed it best to move the colony ship in orbit, since the colony's medical facilities have yet to be built. Peter joked that he'd be excited to study me if I have indeed been infected by an alien parasite. I'm not sure if he was joking or not. Okay. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go through that hole in the wall and God help us. What's this say? Lock me up in here? Lock me up! I have to get back to my research. I have to get back to work. I have to understand. It was so close. I can feel it. I have to get out. I have to get out. I have to get out. Get out, get out, get out. Yeah, yeah, mm hmm etc. Okay. We see you. Nice. So we probably should have come in... I guess this was the the last one we were supposed to go to, but it doesn't really give us an indication as to which way we should go, so... Hello? Hmm. I remember something bad happening to me when I went down one of these tunnels the last time I did this place. Well, we gotta go forward. There's nothing for it. I think something's gonna blow up. Oh, maybe not. Okay. What's in here? This is like some kind of a back hallway. With generators. Ventilator cylinder. Okay. All right, it wants us to go up there, but what happens if we go this way? Nothing. Okay. Oh, this is going to be where it's going to happen. Ah! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Ah! 